In this video, I'm going to show you how you can cut out hair or fur inside PhotoP. So make sure you have your layer selected. Go to Select at the top and click Magic Cut. It will take some time to load. So on the left side is where you can make your adjustments and edits. And on the right side is where you can see the results. So you can't edit this right side. So um, on this left side, you can see some green areas, and those areas are made by PhotoP. And PhotoP has, has made a guess and is automatically trying to figure out your main object and your background so it can separate them. So it has done a pretty good job of doing so. However, there are still some areas which I would like to be added into my final image that PhotoP hasn't recognized that I want those areas. For example, this bit right here. So um, this next step doesn't apply to everyone, it all just depends on your image and how busy your background is. But for example, if you have a busy background like multiple objects or just something like that and some green areas are in your background that you don't want to be added into your final image, you can just click this grey box at the top and you can just erase those areas just by holding down left click and just going over those green areas. But I'm not going to do that since there is no green areas in my background because I have a simple background. So now I'm going to go over to this green box over here. So green is your foreground. It's basically the areas that you want to keep. And um, grey means like erasing areas. And red means your background as you can tell from this bit over here. So I'm going to click this green box and you can click the right bracket to make your brush bigger and the left bracket to make your brush smaller. And you just want to paint in your object just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to make sure PhotoP knows that that is your main object. So we'll just wait for the results. And it has added in the area that we wanted which is good and this is exactly what we want. However, there are still some areas over here which is darker than the rest because um, our background is still on our dog and that's not what we want. So you want to go over to border at the top and the border basically softens the edges. So the default I think is 0 or 3, I'm not quite sure. But um, when dealing with hair or fur, I recommend going 20 or above, but it all depends on what you're trying to cut out. So I'm just going to try 20 and want to see what it looks like and keep an eye on this right page. And it's done a good job, but we're going to make it to 30 and see what that looks like. Okay, that's done much better. Um, but you can just play around with the border and adjust it higher or lower. It all depends on what you want. Um, but if we zoom in by using um, my mouse wheel, you can see that there are still some black areas over here. So I'm going to click this red box over here and I'm going to make my brush smaller by clicking the left bracket. And I'm going to paint around that area, which will be this area. So I'm just going to paint around it. And then we'll refine that edge. Just like that. So I'm going to do it to this side over here as well. So I'm just going to lightly go like that. And we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> okay, hasn't done anything, but that's okay. I'll go a bit more closer. Okay, that, that looks much better. And also keep in mind when doing this, um, you want to make sure that there are never any green areas in your background and never any red areas on your object because that will confuse PhotoP and it won't give you the best results. So I'm happy with this, um, but you can just take as long as you want. And I'm just going to press OK. Oh, before I press OK, if you're finding it um, hard to see, you can go over to this background over here. You can click the white box or the black box or just transparent. So um, this just helps you see in different colors. So I'm just going to press OK. So I'm just going to delete this background layer because we don't need it anymore. Just by clicking on that layer and pressing delete on our keyboard. And I'm going to make a colorful layer so you can really see what it looks like. I'm just going to drag it underneath my dog. And as you can tell, there are still some areas over here which I could fix. Um, but I'm sure you get the idea. Just take as long as you want to do this. I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Bye!